just stopped for a little bit of breakfast. Traveling to Auckland today to look at CNC machines again. Um, milling machines. Oh, that's a loud car. Uh, I was up looking last week. Um, did see a machine. I had a Prototrack controller. This week I'm looking at one with a Centroid controller. I'll talk a little bit more about this later. Um, this is, you know, this is a machine I'm hoping to get. You know, one of these types of machines, so that I can, you know, do better prototyping on spinners and things like that. Right, up in Auckland now, it has been a long day of travelling, it is now early evening. I will keep this video short, but I have a couple of things to talk about. One thing was, in yesterday's video, where I showed the sort of making of this spinner here, sort of grinding, tumbling and, you know, turning it into a, a beast of a spinner, I never showed you the water jet cutting part of it, like I couldn't quite fit it into the video, the video was long enough anyway. So, like, I have, you know, I do, I start with sheets of titanium, you know, draw this design um, minus the, the brass core in the middle, just, just the sort of the, the titanium frame. I design that on the computer and cut it with the water jet cutter. So I just thought I'd show you a bit of the, the footage of the water jet cutting right now. So that's how I get, you know, just just this rough this rough blank that I can then sand and tumble and, and turn into the spinner. I thought that might be of interest to you. What I was going to talk about very briefly is something I showed you, I think, earlier, um, and that was, you know, why I've come up to Auckland, and that's to check out a CNC milling machine, or should I say, a manual machine with with sort of computer control. This is the this is the one I kind of came up to look at. You know, it's got, um, you know, it's kind of like a a manual mill. Um, you know what, I don't know why I'm showing you this because it really doesn't show much, it just shows the electronic control. However, I went to another place this afternoon and you know like just talking with a guy for sort of an hour it's made me think like maybe maybe a sort of manual mill that's kind of like where you adjust the wheels by hand and sort of you know you, you can't do so much more sophisticated stuff maybe that's not the way to go because I found out you can get this machine here which I can show you uh, here we've got the MM430 or 400 and that's this one here so that machine there is a, you know it's like a Taiwanese iron um, uh, iron is like main metal, the main metal part of it, and then a German control, a Siemens control, which um, is very good, and it's you know it's it's quite well priced, and it's a lot cheaper than I thought. I thought the price of it was going to be, you know, uh, what would it be like 150 thousand New Zealand dollars, or about maybe like 100 thousand US dollars, but it looks like it's only maybe 50 thousand US dollars equivalent um, a little well actually a little bit more than that 60 thousand US dollars which is like maybe maybe I could you know maybe I could actually stretch and do that so I kind of came up to Auckland on on that premise um, on on the premise of you know getting a simpler manual kind of mill or, or at least looking to get one and I think you know maybe a more sophisticated CNC kind of full-on mill is the way to go um, you know the reason I'm telling you that is because you know I've got loads more cool projects and spinners and things like that that I want to make but you know if you watched yesterday's video in the last few days you see I cut this out of water I, I water jet cut this and then I just stand there grinding like there's so much more I want to do you know contouring and things like that so that's that's the reason for sort of talking about this and sort of coming up here and, and sort of bringing you with me
last month or maybe even in the last three weeks um, my channel has gone from maybe 900 subscribers to like right now it's it's a few hundred subscribers past 5,000 like it's gone five six fold in in like three or four weeks I don't know if you know but I, I do this video every day I've done it every day since March 2016 so I am up to nine months ten months of doing one YouTube video every day what's interesting is that I went nine months with just getting a, you know two or three subscribers um, a day and you know it was a it was a long slog you know like I, I wanted to grow the channel but I just you know but and some days it was tough and so you know there's a good chance statistically if you're watching this statistically you're not one of the first sort of five six seven eight nine hundred that were there sort of in the first six to nine months you are it well basically it's highly likely you're one of the people that's just come on board in the last three to four weeks and you know you'll notice I've been you know you probably came here because you're interested in spinners but to be fair that's just something I started recording with uh, recording and doing things about recently because people seem to like it and you know obviously it got my YouTube videos um, more more views and you know and it, obviously it's, it's, it's growing it's growing growing the channel which is what I want because if I can grow the channel and you know the more people the more subscribers I get the more views I get the you know the better videos I can make but also the better projects I can do and I can justify which is a big thing I can justify you know looking at machines like this 5,000 subscribers is just mind-blowing like I you know it's just the growth of the channel it's like two 200 subs new subscribers every day um, like to me like that's just massive because I was getting you know now I'm getting some like 20 to 30 thousand views on my videos a day um, I'm not boasting like I'm just hugely surprised and excited about it um, because I went nine months with getting between 100 and 150 views a day now it's 20 to 30 thousand views a day um, well at last I don't know I'm gonna you know the main thing is that I enjoy doing this I want to do more of this um, it is hard work, you know, I have to record every day and I have to, you know, edit. I usually get up at 5 a.m. Yes, 5 a.m. and I edit my video in the morning from what I recorded yesterday. Um, you know, but I think it's worth it. I've got big goals, big projects, you know, the, the this spinner here and these kind of spinners, like, truthfully, that's just the start of, of things to come. You know, I want um, a plan and I've got, you know, bigger and better projects, you know. So this isn't, if you, if you came for my videos, you know, if you subscribe to my channel because you just want to see spinners, then you might be a little bit disappointed because this is more of a, it really is a vlog. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's about, it's about what I do, my business, uh, a bit of my life and that kind of thing. There's a bit of everything, but I have been focusing on spinners recently because it's been growing the channel and you know, and that's ultimately the, the, the direction, if I can talk, the direction I want to go. I think I will call it a day at that. I will of course leave you with a quote. It is by Stephen Hawking and he said, however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at.